You'll hear the terms balanced forces and unbalanced forces a lot when you're dealing with physics. And what I want to do in this video is give you a bunch of scenarios and have you think about whether the forces in these scenarios are balanced or unbalanced. So let's start with the scenario where we have the ground. And then sitting on the ground, we have, we have a rock. Now, the force of gravity is going to be pulling the rock downwards towards the center of the Earth. And it's going to be pulling it, it's essentially the weight of the rock. It's going to be pulling it downwards, let's say, at, with a force of 5 newtons. 5 newtons downwards. But then the rock is also being supported by the ground. The ground is keeping it from being plummeted downwards. So the, rock, so the ground is providing an upwards force, or normal force in this situation. The ground is providing a normal force. I'll do it in the green. The ground is providing a normal force in this situation of 5 newtons. So these forces have the same magnitudes, but they're going in opposite directions. So that is the first scenario. Now let's think about another scenario. So I'll draw the rock again. So I'll draw that same rock. So now I will, I will draw that same rock. We'll assume it's the same rock. The force of gravity is still downwards 5 newtons. 5 newtons downwards. And there's still a normal force, the ground supporting the rock of 5 newtons upwards, five, 5 newtons upwards, 5 newtons upwards. And now there's some character who's trying to push the rock. So we have some character here. And he is trying to push the rock. And he's applying a force of, he's applying a force of 2 newtons to the right. But then there is a force of friction between the rock and the ground that is going to, and I'll do friction in orange, two newtons to the left. Two newtons to the left. So that right over there is the force, the force of friction is going against that guy's pushing. Now let's do another scenario. Once again, a very similar scenario. So let's draw another scenario where I have a rock now. I have maybe the same rock. And here, I have a 5 Newton force downwards, force of gravity, like the rest of the scenarios. And I have the normal force, the ground is being support, the rock is being supported by the ground, 5 newtons upwards. And this guy now here has been able to push a little bit harder. He's pushing, he's pushing a little bit harder. He really put his back into it. And now he's pushing with a force of 3 newtons to the right. And and the force of friction is still is still 2 newtons to the left. So that right over there is the force of friction. Now let's do a couple of more scenarios. Now let's just imagine that this is the ground. That's the ground. And then I have the rock. The rock is not resting on the ground. And so the only force I have acting on the on the rock right now is the force of gravity acting downwards. We're assuming we're not going to think too much about actually let's think about it a little bit let's also put so let's put it so i have the force of gravity that's 5 newtons down but i have some air resistance here you could view it as the force of friction of the air and that is and let's say that that is 1 newton up 1 newton up this is the force of friction or you could call it air resistance air resistance all as this thing bumps into all of the air particles as it is falling to the ground. And then the last scenario I'll draw, I'll draw the rock again, since that seems to be the theme for this video. The last scenario, that's the ground. The rock is resting on the ground. The rock is green. The rock is brown. The rock is resting on the ground. And I have the force of gravity, 5 newtons downwards. So 5 newtons towards the center of the Earth. The rock is being supported by the ground, 5 newtons upwards, 5 newtons upwards. And now this guy is pushing really hard. So this guy right over here is pushing really hard. And so he's applying, he's applying, let's make that 4 newtons, 4 newtons in that direction. You have 2 newtons from the force of friction. I won't draw that just yet. And you also have, you also have another character right over here who's trying to keep this guy from pushing the block. So he's pushing, he's pushing in the other direction. 
at one newton. So you have two newtons of the force of friction. You have this guy pushing one newton against this guy's motion to the left. So between this guy and the force of friction, you have three newtons. You have three newtons going. You have three newtons going in that direction. So now I'll let you think about which of these have an unbalanced force in them, or which of them, another way to think about it, which of these have a net force going on. So let's look at the first scenario. We have a five newtons force of gravity acting towards the center of the Earth, five newton normal force of the ground supporting the block. These have the same magnitude in the exact opposite direction, so they cancel out. These forces completely balance each other out. There is zero net force going on. There are no forces, the way I've drawn it, going on in the horizontal direction. So you have zero net force. These right here are balanced, or I guess we would not consider this one of the scenarios where we see an unbalanced force. Let's go over here. Once again, this 5 newtons and that 5 newtons, they are balancing each other. And then in the horizontal direction, this guy's pushing of 2 newtons in, to the right is being completely balanced by the force of friction of 2 newtons to the left. And because they're balanced, you're going to have no net force. And actually, this block isn't going to accelerate. So once again, these are all balanced forces, or there's no unbalanced or, or net force going on right over here. In this scenario, once again in the vertical direction, these forces are balanced. The normal force in this scenario is balancing the force of gravity, keeping the rock from plummeting, from accelerating towards the center of the Earth. And you do have two forces that are counteracting in the horizontal direction. This guy is pushing harder with three newtons, but the force of friction now is only two newtons to the left. So you do have a net force to the right. Three newtons to the right, two newtons to the left, you have a net force, you have a net force of one newton of one newton, one newton to one newton to the right, or you see it's right based on how I drew the vector. So you do have a net force, net force, or another way of thinking about it, that this is a scenario where you have unbalanced forces, in particular in the in the right left direction. Now that let's look at this over here. We only have forces the way I've described it, acting in this vertical direction. You have the force of gravity, five newtons downwards. You have a counteracting force, the force of air resistance, one newton upward, but they don't completely balance out. You still have a net force, you still have a net force of four newtons downwards. And so the, this is an unbalanced situation. Then finally, right over here, we're sitting on the ground in the vertical direction. Normal force counteracting the force of gravity. Those are balanced. But then in the horizontal direction, this guy to the right, we have more force, four newtons, than what we have going to the left. The three newtons was this guy plus the force of friction. So in this situation, you do have a net force in the rightward direction. Once again, a one newton, one newton force to the right, a one newton net force. This is an unbalanced. This is a scenario where we have unbalanced forces.